Hello, this is a review of the OXO Good Grips Flip and Fold Omelette Turner that you see here. So we'll look at it relative to other spatulas and see what it does in the pan. So overall, I actually think it is excellent. It really does a great job for working with omelettes in a pan and I'll talk about the different advantages it has. So first, comes in a box, um, something like this with a twist tie uh, that holds it on in and you'll be able to slip it under the edge of omelets. Now the key thing here is it's really not about folding the omelet, it's about guiding the omelet. And that's something that this can do with its flexibility. So it offers a little bit more flexibility. If I zoom in here, you can see how it flexes some. Now it's still a little stiff. It's not like just um, a flopping around like paper, but it is softer than other spatulas like this one here. That's, you know, you could bend it if you really push it, but only in certain spots and not as much on the side here. So it, what it really does is it helps you to slip under more evenly, and this doesn't bubble up like, you know, when, I, when it's wet, um, so it's not going to do that, but it helps you get under the edge, um, follow the contours of the pan much better, and because you can use it, you guide the omelet to fold it. You can guide it rather than using it as a, you know, go in and you fold with the other ones. That's what I would do with this. This is more about guiding it. So let's look at some of the advantage of that. So um, this gives it a little support in the middle, this um, yellow piece that you see in the middle. Uh, this was a softer material. The handle is a very rubbery handle. It's very firm. It's not flexible at all um, down here. And it'll hold in any direction because it's a very non-slip kind of rubber on it, which is strikingly different than pure plastic handles like this where your hands can just glide across it. Um, not that it was ever a problem with ones like that. Now there's there's a several different ways you can use this, as no, which is nice. Um, you can use it from the end like this, because it was nice that they had that. You can use it from the side, or obviously some other um, way around it. You can also use it to cut, so it's sturdy enough that you can cut things in the pan or break um, a little bit in the omelet if you want to let some liquid through, or cut your omelet in half. Um, and it's also sturdy enough that you can scoop under something and literally lift it out. But again, remember the primary purpose is to guide your omelet around it. I will show you an actual example making an omelet later. Now, take a look at this compared to a few other spatulas that we have here. So size-wise, compared to a similar silicone spatula uh, that I had used before. This one always broke my omelets in half. When I went to fold an omelet, I could get it under half, I'd fold it and it would rip in half. Then I'd put the other one and I'd fold the second half. That's what would happen here. This helps me get under a lot more of the surface and gently fold it more easily uh, due to the flexibility and the overall size of the head. Now it's not pan size, so it's not going to literally cover the whole size of the pan. This is, both of these are better than a, something like a plastic spatula where, I mean, you look at the edges here, right? When I go in, there's, you know, you're barely going to get under it. So you're trying to go like this, maybe you get under part of your omelet, try to fold it. It's really awkward to go from straight on. So that's why ones like this just, you know, just aren't the right thing to get under an omelet. You try to go under like this, and even when you go like this, you're still missing on the sides. So again, you know, it's most convenient to go from the side, but these don't work that way. These, you have to kind of go like this and try to flip it on over. So neither of these were as good. That's why I always use this. But even this, look, when I go under, right, and it's already not really following the contour of the pan. You know, I can try to go like this, but now when I'm going like that, my, my handle right here is hitting against the side of the pan. So I can't get the horizontal aspect that works more conveniently. So then you go like this, and it's just um, not quite slipping under, and I end up tearing my omelet when I do this. But otherwise, this did a decent job, and I, my omelets were fine. But I was really happy with this um, from being able to more easily get under the edge of my omelets. Overall, I think it does great. It's multi-purpose in terms of, again, remember, you can go this way, this way. It has sturdy for scooping. It can sturdy enough to cut. And the key is it's softer than other spatulas. Um, can really help you get to contours compared to other spatulas. So I will show you an example. Okay, we got a pan, we got egg, guacamole, tomato, green onions, green peppers, and cheese. Put the egg on in. So 
Then we're just moving around the side of the pan to go ahead and let the let it under. It, the contours fit the pan um, quite well, holding it at whichever angle works best. It fits around the side of the pan quite well. Okay, we're good to go to start adding ingredients. Added the cheese, added the green peppers, lots of guacamole, tomatoes, and green onions. All right, Ready? here we go. It easily flips under, folds right over. Our previous spatula used to just break it in half as we went. And it's also nice that it helps it easily slide out of the pan because you got a little bit of a wider angle to pull on. And there we go. We have our omelet easily folded in half, fit the contours of the pan, and it's in much better shape than our previous spatula that would end up breaking it in half. And you can even use it to cut your omelet in half for serving two. And it's even sturdy enough to be able to use to move like another spatula. And there we go. We have our omelets ready to go. All right, just garnish with the leftovers that we had from the, the ingredients. A little sour cream as well. So overall, I think it did an excellent job. It really lived up to the expectations of being for an omelet turner. It did a great job and I'm thrilled with mine. I'm definitely gonna use this every time instead of using this. Thanks for watching the review.